You know, you mentioned a military official who's now working as the head of Chevron. And we've been working with an organization um, called Earth Rights International, and they kind of bring together human rights and environmental justice, and, and it, which is right in itself a, a brand new and beautiful idea. But the first lawsuit victory they had here in the United States was to hold the oil corporation Unical accountable for atrocities that Unical committed un, in Burma, so off of U.S. soil. And it was landmark victory because now any U.S. corporation can be held accountable, like Halliburton, and in this case, coming up, Chevron. So another thing that's happening in D.C. tomorrow is an event that we're part of uh, to help raise a quarter of a million dollars for Earth Rights International to take this case to court um, against Chevron in Nigeria for human rights abuses. Yeah. So there's plenty of ways to get, for you to get involved. You can look on our website, emmasrevolution.com. You can check on afterdowningstreet.org to see what's going on and plug in. And Anne's words that we wanted to finish up with with thanks to Shalel on sound for tonight. <laughs> and thanks to David for having us here, and thanks to the CCJP, is that how you say it? PJ, there we go, Charlottesville Center for Peace and Justice. And the words that Anne said as well, once you start going, you just want to keep on moving, keep on moving, right? And uh, this is the song that the Charlottesville Women's Choir is going to be singing, so when you learn it, you can go to their concert and sing it with them. You know, I have to stop, but I also just wanted to add, you know, even the, the uh, Fox, the local Fox affiliate in St. Paul said, these people have, have turned St. Paul into a military state. Yeah. So, sing with us. Thank you so much for having us here. It's really an honor. Thank you. Well, keep on moving forward. Thank you.